There comes a time in a man's life where he meets his match. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Ashley. <laughs> Almost six years ago, they met at the Husky gas station in Nipigon. <laughs> Surprisingly, the calm, cool, and collective chase experienced his heart skip a beat, nervous as hell, and developed a high-pitched voice when he introduced himself to Ashley. <laughs> couldn't believe his eyes. They have been inseparable ever since. Every spare moment they have is spent camping, fishing, or hunting. And let me tell you that their adventures are not for the faint of heart. Whether it's traveling with cr in crazy waters for hours to get to their favorite fishing spot, or sitting in a bear stand for a good part of the day waiting for the right bear to meander by, they both feed off each other's love for the great outdoors, creating endless memories together. And they realize how lucky they are to have what they have. Chase sealed the deal by proposing to Ashley on her birthday a couple of years ago. He bought her a hunting sweatshirt and hid the ring deep in the front pocket. When he gave it to Ashley, she was quick to admire the softness when she felt something hard in the pocket. Her initial reaction was, oh no, because she thought the ink tag was left on the shirt. <laughs> this definitely wasn't the reaction Chase was looking for. But once Ashley realized it was a ring and not an ink tag, she demonstrated her excitement by accepting his proposal wholeheartedly. Chase, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> first time, Chase and Ashley as husband and wife. Oh. <laughs> 
My speech is going to be like a mini skirt, <laughs> long enough to cover the essentials and short enough to hold your attention. <laughs> Chase, I'd like to thank you for being such a stable force in my life, a great friend, and uh, even better brother. Ashley, I think we can all agree that you're stunning today. Chase won the lottery. <laughs> Ashley and Chase, today we celebrate you. We wish you all a lifetime of happiness, love, health, success, and laughter. May you continue to find humor in the bad and appreciation for the good. May your friendship continue to grow throughout the years to come. Cheers. 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 Mom and Bill. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Wherever you are. Thanks for taking the trip down on such short notice. I couldn't say I do without you. I have to admit, I had one tiny meltdown during this whole situation, and you were the lucky one that got the phone call. <laughs> Thanks for listening and helping me work through it. You're always there when I need you. I hope when the world smartens up, we can go climb Machu Picchu or some other outrageous place and create more lifelong memories together. Darcy, thanks for raising a very special girl. I can't wait to spend forever with her and promise to keep her safe during all her shenanigans. <laughs> She's always worried about us. Where same, are you with, going? same with Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> they they worry constantly. Can he be? Woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you in that orange. <laughs> Thank you for opening your home to host this amazing day and for all your help in the planning. It's not every day that the bride's father also double, doubles as her wedding planner. <laughs> I must say it all turned out beautifully. Growing up, you were my first hunting and fishing partner in life. Thank you for molding me into the son you never had. I don't think I would be able to handle Chase if it wasn't for you. <laughs> oh boy, that's the truth. <laughs> You know, a million thank yous for always being my number one supporter. Kenny B, I promise to take good care of your daughter. Bring her home safe. Keep a smile on her face, a fish in her hands, and I promise I will always keep her off the rocks. Thanks for everything you have done over the years. Ed. Ed. Sylvia. Oh, back there. Hi. <laughs> First off, the food. I, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. And the dessert table is unreal. Wow. Though I didn't try any though. <laughs> Everyone says it's really good. <laughs> I still have to cut the cake, so maybe. <laughs> you have been such a big help in making this day possible. I think everyone would agree that you are two very special people. I couldn't have asked for a better family to be a part of. You have always welcomed me with open arms. Thank you. And Mom and Dad, we truly appreciate everything you have done for us over the years. I know I haven't been the easiest child to raise. <laughs> always worrying where I was, when I'm coming home, and everything else. But your guidance definitely brought me to where I am today. Thanks for helping me make this day possible. Blues. Love you both. Sis. That speech. <laughs> you made me cry. I'm Na crying right now. I'm going to say, <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> right? Nailed it. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and my wedding party, Lindsay, Kristen, Leanne, Jessica, who couldn't be here. I lucked out to find lifelong friends like you. I don't think there's a better team I could ask for to spend, stand up with me today. I can always count on you for everything. Thanks for everything you've done and continue to do for me. Love you. <laughs> Melise, Vienna, you also nailed the speech. <laughs> you might have been better than your mom. <laughs> oh, no, they weren't. <laughs> you look absolutely stunning today, even in your t-shirts. <laughs> Thank you for spending this day for me, with me, and Auntie loves you to the moon and back. So do we. <laughs> and to my boys, thanks for always being the best hunting and fishing partners ever. Until Ashley came around and stole the show. <laughs>
<laughs> All kidding aside, you guys are a big part of my life, and I always thank you for being there for us so for the years. Jasper and Harbor, thank you for being a very for being a very important part and a good job. Thank you, thank you, Jasper and Harbor. Okay. So all of you combined have helped us pull off one hell of a day. We just have a few more words, then we're gonna get this party started and make it one hell of a night. To my husband, Ooh, my new husband, you're the love of my life, my partner in crime. Jeez, there's just so much to say. But I'll start it off with thanks. Thanks for being the best hunting and fishing guide a gal could ask for. The experiences you have given me are more than I could ever imagine. True love is when your partner lets you take a 330 pound bear on his birthday and still be happier than a pig in shit. <laughs> we have created quite the lives for ourselves. 500. Oh, what did I say? 530. Wow, <laughs> yeah, I'm selling myself short. <laughs> 530. <laughs> we have created quite the lives for ourselves, accomplishing what most couples wouldn't even consider doing. Though they probably wouldn't agree with our idea of a fun time. <laughs> And our relationship has always just been easy, minus that time you almost killed me, portaging a moose, 40k on my back. But truth be told, I would do it a hundred times over, because I can't picture this life adventuring with anyone but you. In my eyes, we are the definition of perfect. Thank you for all that you do and for choosing me for life. Our future has big plans for us, and I can't wait to see what's in store. I love you forever and always. Well, some of mine sounds like yours, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what can I tell you that I haven't told you already? I know, I tell you every day, all the time. Yeah. That was part of my writing my speech. I'm like, what am I supposed to tell you? I'm like, I tell you I love you, how good like, you look every day of the week. So I'm like, I got nothing new to tell you. <laughs> Anyways. From the first moment I lays, laid eyes on you, I knew my life was gonna change. From getting so nervous to sounding like Mickey Mouse when I said, <laughs> wanna go to the boat? <laughs> <laughs> to the moment that you melted my heart that night when you reached out to grab my hand to jump in the lake. <laughs> Ashley, you were definitely my partner in crime. Whether it's sitting at home on the couch, fishing for days on end, countless hours in the tree stand, and of course, packing a canoe through the bush in the far north. There's no one I'd rather spend as much time with as I do with you. I truly believe a good relationship is what you put into it. So I will treat you just like our hunting and fishing trips, and I'll, I'm all in. <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> exactly. So let the love between us never end, and the adventures never stop. I love you so much. Aww. We still have our first dance, and we have a little game to play, but other than that... You can do the game. Leanne, should we do the game? Who wants to play a game? Security? Does anyone need a drink? We'll <laughs> grab a drink and we'll get the game organized. Is it beer guard? <laughs> no, we're playing the shoe game. Shoe game. When you first met, who made the first move? <laughs> who is the better driver? <laughs> Who has been in more car accidents? <laughs> um, Who will be doing the cooking from now on? <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to get injured? <laughs> Who is more likely to get sunburned? <laughs> said I love you first <laughs> who starts the argument
<laughs> Who wears the pants in the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> be most likely to wake up grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to get lost? <laughs> and then who would be more likely to ask for directions? Uh, who is needier when they're sick? <laughs> who has the better fish picture? Uh, good one, good one. <laughs> Who's more stubborn? <laughs> Who needs the most cuddles? Who needs the most cuddles? <laughs> so I have one more to ask if anybody wants to throw one out there. Anybody have an idea? No? This one's are cute though. Right now. Who do you love most in the world? <laughs> I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Take on our nose. <laughs>